tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use SurveyMonkey to create a survey. Uh, tools like SurveyMonkey can be really helpful at the start of the design to make important design decisions, in particular decisions that will influence the way that visitors inhabit the site. So you want to take into consideration what they want to experience there. So to begin, simply search SurveyMonkey in your browser. and click on this option here. This will bring you into the SurveyMonkey page. You can either log in or sign up. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Enter your username and password. Alrighty, so once we're logged in, you've got your dashboard here. You can see recent surveys you've made, uh, survey examples there, you can see your profile, whether it's complete, quick polls and survey tips, all things that are really useful. Um, of the recent surveys you've done, you can see how many people have responded to it, the completion rate and how many time, um, how much time it took them to complete it. We can then go ahead and create more surveys. Or you can use the top thing here to create a survey. So let's go ahead and create one. Alrighty. So we can copy a past survey or we can start from scratch. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. We can name the survey. So let's name this uh, favorite places. The survey category. Um, We'll just do community or volunteer feedback. You can do your questions already written and you can upload them, but we haven't done that. Uh, choose how to collect responses. Um, I'm wanting to use this for free, so I'm going to use my own contacts. Then we can choose how we want our pe questions to appear. You can do one question at a time or classic will just show them all. So let's do one question at a time. And let's click create the survey. Alrighty, so now that we're in, we can create our survey. So question number one, what is your favorite restaurant? Okay, so you type your question in. It automatically suggests an answer type, but you can also choose different types that you want. You've got multiple choice. Check boxes, star ratings, um, file upload box, single text box, comment box, lots of different things. So you can, if you're using multiple choice, you can simply type in your different responses here. You can add an other option, um, and this allows the users to then input something that isn't already an option, um, something that's obviously less common. So let's go ahead and we'll do single text box for this one. So then it comes up with suggested questions. How often do you eat at a restaurant? How delicious was the hotel restaurant meals? How affordable were the meals? Um, let's do that one. See, so it's a suggested question. All right, and then if you want to add a new question, just click and go ahead, add a new question. And then you just type out your new question, select your thing, your question type. So let's for say we did star rating. So you can choose your scale, one to five, your shape, the color. Um, next to each star, you could say one star is bad five stars is excellent just to give people an idea so over here you've got all different categories you've got the question bank which recommends questions then we've got the builder so here you can see all the different question types and we can see star rating the one we're using here is locked because it's actually a paid feature so any of these things we want to use are a paid feature. 
We can change the appearance of our, of our survey. We can also do this up here. So we can add in a logo. Just drag one in there. We can choose a theme. So there is some themes that are free and then obviously you've got paid themes as well. Alrighty, you can choose fonts, a footer, um, that's if you want to remove, you know, like the Survey Monkey logos and stuff. Obviously, you're going to have to pay more if you want to do things like that. You can do the layout, lots of different things. This really makes the survey look something more professional. Um, logic options, so you can turn it into a quiz, um, an exit link, you can do a progress bar. So when people are completing the survey, they can see how long they've got to go. Page numbers. You can make uh, questions required, so they have to answer them. Then again, we can choose our format. So the classic will show all the questions at once, or we've got one at a time. Now this thing here. This is where we can go and we can see what paid features are being used. Because we can't actually, if we're wanting to use the free survey, Obviously, we have to use all free questions and free features. So it won't let us actually publish the survey if we're using paid features and we don't want to pay. Alrighty, so let's go next. Alrighty, so Survey Genius says it's perfect. Um, and it doesn't recommend uh, us to change anything about the survey. Sometimes it would say you need less questions, you should make more questions multiple choice. It's just giving it's just giving suggestions to try and uh, optimize the amount of people that will actually finish the survey. So we can also see um, what it would look like if we were completing the survey on a phone or a computer. Okay, let's go next. Alright, so how would you like to collect survey responses? We want to send them our way. Here, what we can do, we can post it on social media, send a text, we can buy responses, or we can share a survey link, which is what we're going to do. All we have to do is copy this link. Then we can analyze results. So we don't have any responses yet. For the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and complete the survey. Just so we can see some responses. Right, so we've got to analyze results here. So it'll give us um, a graph of the responses. So we can see 100% of the people have said that it was extremely delicious. Now, one thing that is a bit of a downside to SurveyMonkey is the fact that you can't actually export um, without paying for the data. So we wanted to export this as like a CSV file to then um, analyze it further in another app. We can't actually do so without paying, so this is a bit of a limitation. If you did want to upload, upgrade to the premium um, version, you know, the possibilities are endless with SurveyMonkey and you really can create some amazing surveys.